What's going on, guys? It's G Fed Jake here, back with another YouTube video. That's right. So today, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at Lego Star Wars set seven five three one nine, the Armorer's Mandalorian Forge, with two hundred fifty eight pieces. Retails for thirty bucks. You're getting the Mandalorian and Beskar armor, obviously. This time with his jetpack, which is awesome. The armor, a brand new exclusive minifigure, and Paz Vizsla, another fantastic exclusive minifigure. Uh, and there you can see the forge there. Uh, a very nice $30 set. There's the back of the box. You got the armor on the mantle, and they got the forge over here melting the Beskar. Um, you got a little hol holocron piece there, which I love. A little Mandalorian on there which is just awesome, but yeah, that's the box art. Let's take a look at the minifigures. So first up here, we have the Mandalorian in Beskar armor. We've gotten him multiple times um, in the summer wave. We got him in Boba Fett's Starship <clears throat> Slave 1 and um, the Imperial Light Cruiser or Moff Gideon's Light Cruiser, but another great way to get him in a cheap set, 30 bucks. Um, so you got his helmet, um, fantastic torso printing, some waist printing, leg printing. I love the arm printing. That's something I always love um, about the Mandalorian is that arm printing. That just completes it for me. I love that. Um, still no new head. Um, I'm kind of 50-50 on it. Part of me wishes that we got a new head with a face, but then the other part of me is like, well, I kind of like it with the black. It just looks better. So I'm 50-50 on that. And uh, he comes with his rifle and his little pistol there. And then he also comes with his jetpack. Now, a lot of people aren't really talking about this, but I'm going to mention it here that the jetpack said it's not the right color. But if you want to, you can take the head off. Let's just take a look at the back printing here. Um, just a simple back print, but it's going to be covered up by the jetpack. Um, but let's put that back on there. There we go. All set and ready and done. There is the Mandalorian. So let's take a look at the next minifigure. So next up here, we have the Armor, who is a brand new exclusive minifigure to this set. I know a lot of people are complaining about the Armor, especially with the helmet mold and there's no fur coat. I'm going to say this. I think it's perfect. I love it. It's awesome. Everything about it, her works. I mean, yes, the helmet is reused, but like, I'm fine with it. It works. Like, I know it's inaccurate, but still, like, why would you make another brand new helmet mold when you just made one? It just makes sense. I think it works perfectly fine. Um, and just like the Mandalorian, no um, uh, face, just a black head, which, of course, we don't see her face, so we don't know what she looks like. And she comes with a little hammer and then this little claw piece, I guess, to get the Beskar. I don't know what that is, like a little wrench. Um, great torso printing, waist printing, leg printing, and even some fit, uh, feet printing there. Um, the fur coat, I mean, it's tough. I, I I probably would have liked a fur coat, but then again, it would be tough with this helmet. It wouldn't work. So I'm actually okay with it. You can see some back printing there. Um, but yeah, an overall great minifigure, and I could not be happier. Let's get on to the last minifigure. And lastly, we have Paz Vizsla himself, a brand new exclusive minifigure to this set. I think definitely the armor and Paz Vizsla are the highlights of this set, 100%, because they're brand new. You got to get them. Um, great helmet. I love the helmet. Sand blue color. Um, just like the other two, no head print. We, of course, we obviously don't know what he looks like. He is using the armor piece, which is what, um, Rucker uses. The new armor piece, which looks awesome. I love that printing on the armor, the Mandalorian logo there. Um, uh, just overall a great minifigure. He's got his, like, repeating blaster, I guess. Um, he comes with a little jetpack there which i love um and if i guess if you want to um it's gonna be tough uh, let's see if i can do it there we go we got it it's tough with the um with uh this on it's tough especially at the angle but there is the torso printing there the waist leg and the feet printing all continuing and there's some back printing as well but you won't see that um because you're gonna i'm gonna keep this armor on but uh yeah just overall 
a fantastic lineup of minifigures. I could not be happier. Um, so let's get into the build of the so set. So here is the Armors Mandalorian Forge. I mean, it's for 30 bucks, obviously. This is a very, very small set, but it's got a lot of details. So let's start, I guess, off over... I guess we'll start on the right side. Why not? So over on the right side, uh, we just got, I guess, a little light here. Um, I guess like a little, uh, I don't know, just a sharpening tool. I guess if you want to sharpen your tools or Beskar or whatever, I don't know. It's like a little sharpening tool. And what I really love is this. Just It's a plain Gumbano Gray um, helmet, Mandalorian helmet, which I love that. It's awesome. Great inclusion. Um, this is also on a little shelf here. Up here, we got the the Mandalorian um, logo. Um, we got a little broom over here, just a little entrance area. Um, I guess if you want to, there's, it's on this, um, on the other side as well. Um, just a little entrance area, I guess. Um, moving over to the left side here. So we have a little cabinet actually right here, which is actually pretty cool. And you can actually open this up. So these little drawers, you got a little, I guess, uh, little pad there to open it up maybe or something i don't know and then inside is a sticker of the tools like the little um i don't know what you call those just to get the best scar little spears i guess if you call them it gets them out um when they're really hot you can use those so that's really cool i love that um really really cool um and then over to the left is another control panel here some buttons another great piece this is a cylinder clear. It is a Mandalorian um, hologram, holocron, or whatever, I guess. I don't know. Um, but that's really cool. Hologram, right? Yeah, hologram um, of a Mandalorian there. Um, another light. And then this, I think, is just like a little incubator over here. It's got a little um, switch, I guess. I want to switch it up or down. And then we have a piece of Beskar, the gunmetal gray, which is the inaccurate. I like Again, it should be the lighter um, lighter gray that uh, Mandalorian has, not the gunmetal one. So that's a little unfortunate. Really disappointing. In that. And then taking a look on Ron back, nothing much, pretty plain. Um, but then also what connects is there's actually a little connection here a little clip and these are seats so if you want to sit your mini figure you can put mando here i'm not going to do it um the armor right here while he's waiting you can put some beskar there while she's making um his armor um you got some another little hammer or a tool there and then the main piece i guess if you would say is the forge itself um i love the build you know they use these stickers um the lighting around um the outside to give it you know that look um uh, and they use some Technic, this little thing. I don't know what it is. I guess just it doesn't really do anything. It just moves around. You can move it around. But I like to keep it there. Um, you got these hanging down, I guess, to just make it look better. I don't really know. I guess like lighting maybe. I don't know. Um, but the really cool thing is, well, you can see the flames, the blue flames. I think these are actually brand new. I don't think we've ever gotten these the light blue little flames here. So that's really, really cool. I love that. Great use. But what's really cool, I think the best play feature is actually melting the best cars. So what they do is they actually give you this little um, pole, like the little staff that, you know, like a Gandalf staff, what they use, like Gand what Gandalf uses. And I just dropped a little best car there. So we'll put that back in. Um, so what they do is they give you a, and I keep doing, no, that's just great. If it works, it's fun. Don't drop, don't drop, come on, don't drop, don't drop it, don't drop it. So what it really is cool is that you can put this, like recreate the scene where you're melting the best car. So you can put this in here and set it in there. And that, it, it just looks so cool. It's melting the best car. Just like in the movie, which I think is a really cool play feature. And what's nice is that it actually just sits in there. You get it in between the flames. There's a little opening. You just set it right in there, and it looks awesome. Perfectly, 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 perfectly. So that is a really, really cool play feature. Um, 
but that's really about it for the build. I mean, there's not, I mean, it's a $30 set. It's really small. You're really getting it for those minifigures. Um, I will say you got to be careful with this because this is only on like a little clip. So you got to be really gentle because this can move up and down really easily. It's not that sturdy. It could break off, um, but you got to be really careful with it. Um, but I think that's really about it for the build. Yeah, there's not really much to the build here. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the instructions and then we'll take a look at the box art one last so here's time. Here's the instruction manual. Again, I mean, it's a decent size instruction manual. Nothing surprising here. If you want to, let me thrip through this pretty quick. I want to get to the back. Um, they're, they're showing off some of the newer sets, obviously. Um, still waiting on this game. Where the heck is it? I don't know. Um, but here are all the sets here. Um, I first reviewed the Duel on Mandalore. And then I did the Imperial Armored Marauder. Then I did Boba Fett Starship as <clears throat> Slave 1. Then I did the Bad Batch Attack Shuttle. Then I did the Imperial Light Cruiser or Moff Gideon's Light Cruiser. Um, then I did um, the Mandalorian Starfighter. And then I just finished up just now with um, the Armor's Mandalorian Forge. And then finally, the only set left is the UCS gunship. That's I'm saving that for last. So that's going to be the next set to review. But that's the instructions. Um, let's take a look at the box art one last time. So there's the box art one last time. You got the front of the box. Love that it's in, you know, the forge there showing off, the minifigures. And then taking a look at the back, back of the box one last time. But yeah, that's going to do it, guys. This has been my review of LEGO Star Wars set 75319, the Armors Mandalorian Forge. Let me know what you think about the set and if you picked it up. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider um, subscribing. We're at 220, so let's keep it going and make sure to like. Um, and, again, comment down below. Let me know if you got the set, what you think about it. But, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. This is G Fet Jake signing off. Peace. Have a good one. Later, guys.